Don't insulate Britain. Get your motherfucking peas up. Bro. So you know this whole insulate Britain protesting nonsense that's going on. Man are getting ink thrown in their face. Man are gluing themselves to the brass club floor like they're fucking chalk line. Obviously, I don't watch TV. I ain't got a TV like that. Man got one look at idiot 32 inch TV that man's had for almost 10 years or whatever. Isn't it? But man don't have no living room downstairs. I don't have a TV. I don't have time to watch TV like that. Isn't it? Yeah. And I def I don't watch the news or not. Isn't it? Yeah. Uh, my news time, where I get my info from, is from my gang, from my mum, and from Facebook and Instagram or whatever. Isn't it? So I don't watch the news. So when I heard about Insulate Britain, for some reason, a man just assumed. That it has something to do with the coronavirus because when I'm just thinking of the word insulate, I'm thinking of injections or whatever in it. So when I'm hearing about this insulate thing, I'm just thinking, oh, it's something to do with the coronavirus. And I'm assuming that people are against the vaccinations. I don't know why I thought that. Boom. Nadia was here the other day, innit? And um, she must have said to me, oh, um, I must have mentioned the insulate thing. I think she must have shown me, oh, look, these people got ink thrown in their face or whatever. Innit? And I was like, boy, these are the same people. So apparently they done a protest thing or whatever in the road, blocked the road, and it stopped a fucking ambulance from going to uh, attend to someone. And now this person's got, pa is paralyzed or something like that. And anyway, so, um, yeah, anyway, we was talking about it. And I thought the insulate thing was something to do with the coronavirus. Whatever. And she said, no, 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 no. It's about the rise in energy prices and that. And when I heard that, I just thought, Fuck the people. Get your fucking peas up about lowering energy prices. Now, I'm not saying that they should um, be rising energy prices in that. But why is it affecting you? See, there's a deeper root to this thing, you know. Don't just look at it like face value. Like, ah, oh, the Ross Clark government and the energy companies and that. They're, they're, they're putting the energy prices up. Gas, water, electric, whatever. Isn't it? They're all expensive and that. You have to think to yourself, why is it expensive for some people? Because what made me um, want to make this video right now is my, my, I'm assuming my gas has run out because I top up. At my yard here, I top up. And I tried to turn on the water to do some washing up and the gas has gone. So I'm like, oh, I need to go to the shop or whatever. And I'm like, right, the thing there did go quickly or whatever, innit? But I can't remember how much I had on it last, innit? So I can't really tell, innit? So that inspired me to make this video now, innit? They don't need to really be... Uh, maybe the energy prices might be a little bit higher, apparently, or whatever. Isn't it? Yeah. But why is it expensive for some people? It's expensive because your finances aren't on point. That's why it's expensive for you. Man, are protesting in the world. Man, are gluing themselves to the world. Man, are getting ink thrown in their face. You think? <laughs> That's how you know, yeah, this protesting ticket is only for poor people. You think fucking Tony Blair is going to be out on the road with the man them? protesting you think drake is worried about energy prices no you think i'm worried about energy prices i'm just thinking, oh, okay it's gone up or whatever isn't it it probably is a little bit of a rip off but it is what it is in it yeah. get your peas up make more money like i say all the time i said it many times in the past man don't feel sorry for these old people that are gonna freeze this winter it's the second of november today big up my sister zion my sister zion's birthday isn't it? Sister Zion's birthday. Big up to my sister. There's people that are gonna freeze this winter. Old people. I don't feel sorry for them. Ah, oh, Jay, man, you can't say that. That's that's cold hearted and that. No, 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 no. If they're 70 years old, 60 years old, 50 years old, they've been around long enough to make sure their finances are in order. They don't around. They've been around long enough to make sacrifices so that they don't freeze in the later stages of their life. Everyone's got 24 Ross Club hours. If you decide after you do your look at ED at 9 to 5 job, you look at 40 hour a week job. If you decide every day after work, I'm just going to sit down and watch TV. Line up. Alright, boom. Monday, MLL, Tuesday, EastEnders, Wednesday, Coronation Street and all different times and that. If that's what you're going to do after work, and on the weekend, you ain't going to do no nothing to uh, improve your life or whatever, in it, then that's your problem. Everyone's got 24 hours. If you decide to fuck about and take it easy, then 
You know, you're going to have to pay for it. Something got to give. If you want a comfortable life and you're older, you got to make that sacrifice when you're young and you're healthy. But no, a man will work a 40-hour week and feel like he's entitled to three holidays a year. Why? I ain't been on holiday since 2016. Right, that's me though, isn't it? But even when I was at that Holborn job, the infamous Holborn job, one that man always makes in the bath. It's infamous because obviously, man worked there for four months straight. No break, yeah. Even after that, man didn't feel like I need a fucking holiday. No, 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 no. no. And that's working there. Every day. Every rascal day. Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday, Monday to Sunday. Every day was like Groundhog Day. Literally. 8 a.m. to 8 p.m., possibly 10 p.m., Monday to Friday. Saturday and Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday was time and a half. Sunday was double pay. Every Ras Club day. I took one day off to do an exam because I had to. It was fucking important. I was vexed. Man lost out on £400, you know, for that day. Vex. But I had to do the exam. And I had to pass as well. Because if I didn't pass, I would have lost out on my money, £200 that I paid for the exam. And then I would have to lose out another £400 as well. So they were talking a bag. 400 for the day that I went to do the exam. Yeah, and another 200, 400. That's our, that's our bag, that's our grand. And it's funny as well. So, so after I got fired from that workplace in January 2020, yeah, January 2020, obviously the coronavirus struck. And obviously they put Britain on lockdown and that in, in March. So two months after I got fired and everything. Everyone's all running around, pandemic, panicking and that. Bro, man's chilling. Man's chilling. You know why? Because I put the work in beforehand. Not that I knew, not that I had foresight, but man's always trying to be prepared for hard times. You see when the times are good, when everything's going easy and that. Those are the times, that's like the calm before the storm. Those are the times you need to be working. Because you don't know what's around the next corner, blood. You don't know what's around the next corner. So when everyone's all panicking and that, man, I shook, like, oh, how am I going to pay my bills and that? I took a whole year out. I didn't even go to work. I had job offers. I'm like, oh, fuck it. Took the whole year out. And bought a property on top of that. Mad. Mad. That's the power of making sacrifice. So you know what, yeah? What you can take from this video is... Treat your youth like pre-COVID. Treat your youth like pre-COVID. Everything going good. Smooth. No rockiness. Ooh, I only got 15% on this video. I'm going to be done in a minute anyway. So treat your youth like pre-COVID. Everything going smooth and no rockiness. Plain sailing. Boom. Your youth is the time when you make the sacrifice. Don't go out too often, you know. Use that time to do something productive. I told you that already. Can't go into it too much detail, but I've said it before, innit? Because obviously I only got like 10%, 15% left on my battery. Innit? Family member had a party or whatever, innit? I didn't go, you know why? Because I was installing lights. I was selling lights and I was installing them at some kebab shop in Edmund. Or next to some kebab shop in Edmund. So treat your youth like pre-COVID times, everything's all smooth and going fine and that, yeah? Boom. If you sacrifice and that, when you're older, when there's a pandemic, when you really need your money, like, the post-COVID times, you're gonna be all right. But if during your youth, pre-COVID times, if you're fucking about, taking it easy or whatever, innit, yeah? When something bad happens, like the boosting energy prices, when you're in an old age, you're gonna suffer. So that's why I don't feel remorse for no old people. We all got 24 hours. If you've got a healthy brain, you got a healthy body, 
No excuse for failure, no excuse for struggling. Obviously, there's going to be times you're going to be struggling. Life is full of hills and valleys and that, yeah. But once you get to a certain point in your life, you should not be struggling. You should be kicked back. You should be thinking about, oh, you know, starting this business or whatever, or, or getting involved in multiple and more investments and stuff. Not struggling to make ends meet. Nah, nah, you're on a joke, Tim. So I don't feel sorry for these old people. These are the same people going to freeze in their yard this winter, but their whole life, 30 years, they worked at Sainsbury's. They worked as an administrator, front desk, whatever the minimum wage was back then, four, five, two pound per hour. Because some of these people are so old, they can remember the times when they were only earning two pound per hour. So I don't, I don't, I don't feel sorry for them, man. Don't feel sorry for them because they could have made sacrifices when they were younger, but they chose not to. They chose, ah, life will work itself out. Life don't just work itself out. You have to work life out.